Hey everyone, in this presentation, we're getting into Eritema multiformat. Let's get started. Basically, it's a hypersensitivity reaction commonly triggered by infections. Most common infection that we can see is herpes simplex virus. And generally, it's seen in young adults between the ages of 20 and 40, and it exhibits slight male predominance, but we can see in children and older adults as well. Let's talk about the target lesions. They are the hallmark of this disorder, although they may not always be present. You can find it uh, on the right side of the screen. They are generally less than three centimeters in diameter, and they generally seen on the back of the hands and feet initially then it can spread to the torso and it's generally affecting the upper limbs more and we can see pruritus but it's generally mild let's talk a little bit more about this target lesions as you can see the center is dusky or dark red with a blister or cross the next ring is a paler pink and is raised due to edema and the outermost ring is bright red. And we can also see high temperature, headache, feeling unwell, a raw sores inside of your mouth, swollen lips covered in crust. Now we can talk about causes. We said that it's commonly caused by infections. Infections can be viral or bacterial. In viral infections, we said that herpes simplex virus is the most common cause. In bacterial infections, we have mycoplasma and streptococci. It can be caused by medications, for example, penicillins, NSAIDs, or oral contraceptive pills can cause this. Also, it can be caused by systemic lupus or sarcoidosis. It can be caused by tumors or menstruation. Let's talk about the diagnosis. It's based upon the patient's history and clinical findings. When the diagnosis is uncertain, we can use skin biopsies. As we said earlier, HSV is the most common cause. We should think HSV in all patients. If HSV testing is negative, we can use serologic testing. They usually appear over the course of three to five days and resolve it in approximately two weeks. Although they do not scar, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation may remain for months after resolution, particularly in patients with dark skin. Lastly, let's talk about the treatment. We are not using treatments for most of the cases as rash settles by itself over the several weeks without complications. If we use treatment, it's directed to any possible cause. Let's say you have HSV infections, we'll use oral acyclovir. If you have mycoplasma infections, we can use antibiotics, for example, erythromycin. If we see that this is caused by medication, we should seize that medication. And that's it for today. If you liked it, consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video with your friends. See you later.